So the T, uh, the best solutions for digital TV and more. The TBS S2X S2 USB tuner. So there's the tuner itself. It's uh, not very big at all. Just like uh, just a box with uh, has a light to indicate when it's connected to a satellite transponder. Has a USB 2.0 uh, connection and a DC, DC 12 volt connection. So this is pretty much the receiver. Not very big. Fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, your computer handles a lot of the other stuff that it will do. Comes with the USB 2 cable uh, to connect to your computer. And the power supply. The power supply is actually probably almost bigger and heavier than the uh, the actual receiver. So that's what comes with the TBS 5930 uh, DVB-S2 satellite receiver. USB tuner box. Okay, this is an unboxing of the DV, uh, the TBS uh, 6940-4SE Quad Tuner PCIe card. Uh, and you can um, find out more about their stuff from their website at uh, tbsiptv.com slash downloads. That's where you get all the drivers and the software that will run on this. Uh, it does have its own software for tuning the satellite channels. So I'll just open this up. So this is it. Not much to this box. It's just the card and this power thing. This power cord here. Just a little card that goes in your computer. PCI Express. It has this doohickey here. No instructions though, so I'm not sure. Is that for the power? Uh, there we go. So that's it there. I'm going to stick that inside my computer. We'll see how it works. So I slid the card in there, and then it says here LMB from the board out to where my computer is. So I got it in the computer here. Okay, LMB3. So it might be fun trying to figure out which port is what on this one when we get it going, but we'll figure it out. So I just want to show you in action. So there's several software out there that you can use uh, for this device. There is a DVB Dream. Uh, there's TBS Viewer. Uh, EBS Pro and Prog Finder is the 4K channel works sometimes, so I'm able to tune the H.264 4K content. So we kind of got the picture in picture going here for two different channels. This is in the TBS Viewer program. Now in DVB Dream, you can kind of uh, it will make it all into Windows. It might even do that in this thing here. I tend to use DB, DVB Dream a little bit more, uh, but I'm still playing around with all this stuff uh, and trying to learn it. So I'll show you a DVB Dream. Now for the purposes of making this video, I went ahead and got the uh, the paid version. So you'll first thing you'll see is this big blue thing here. That's the sound control. I haven't figured out how to get rid of that yet. So I'll show you the uh, features of the um, picture in picture, which I think is the coolest thing with this. Compared, I wish satellite receivers had this too, but they don't. So I got the hunt channel going here. Oh, you go here in picture in picture. Now it looks awful now because I stretched it and everything looks stretched. It doesn't have to look. You just, you just make it look the way it's supposed to look like that and do that. Uh, so I can put on the hunt channel. I think that's the one I'm watching right now. No, it's in our channel. Okay. I can also put on like multiple channels here. So a cool feature of it is you have this picture in picture feature. You can monitor multiple channels on like one transponder. And yeah, it will allow uh, you watch multiple channels on different monitors. You can full screen them too. Yeah, so that's the picture in picture mode. And yeah, there's uh, new channels here over on 118 West, the old Orbi TV satellite. So if you got an old Orbi TV receiver or an old Orbi TV dish, you can buy a receiver and scan in channels and get free satellite TV channels. I found this other program here as well. It's called Prog Finder. Prog is a company they make software for this. A lot of it's pay software, but they do have a few free uh, software things that you could try out. Uh, you can play around with the LMB settings and things like that. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna just see if I can tune the NASA satellite. There. So this is how you can see if you got want to lock the signal with this program. And it will just kind of give you an indication. And it, it's actually not a viewer, but it will like it will scan the channels in that will um, if you want to scan a transponder and see what's available on that satellite. 
this is mainly um, this finder app or program it's more of a make sure you got all your settings set up right so there it found TV service 101 TV service 103 and 104 which are the NASA 4k channels now you can use this program uh, you can get up for free off the TBS website it's called TBS viewer and this is like a free version it's more of a bare bones version compared to DVB dream uh, it's just uh, the interface I think it needs a lot of work uh, when you're actually using it for a receiver just to find your channels and for doing a lot of that stuff I think I can go th you can go through the channels that you've scanned in and it has a picture-in-picture -picture feature but I prefer the DVB dream picture-in-picture -picture feature a lot better another thing I, d I just I'm not a fan of is this program goes by the like an alphabetical order for the channels or it goes by what the service um, uplink satellite uplink company is like this uh, global cast so what I find that does compared to like a regular free to air receiver it really throws the channels around uh, in in different order than what I would be used to in the order I'm used to uh, for a lot of satellite receivers I like that all the transponder channels are all lined up and it just makes it quicker for this receiver to change the channels uh, instead of going to different transponders and it takes that time just uh, to for the uh, to switch the polarity and, uh, and and change the voltage and all that when it's on the same transponder sometimes you could flip through channels a little bit quicker that way so this TBS uh, 694 for SE DVB uh, S2X uh, quad tuner card it's more for your professional end uh, of um, uh, use it's not necessarily a consumer use in my opinion like if you're using what looking for something for a consumer use you really just need one tuner you don't need multiple tuners uh, like this one has it's kind of more for what I would be looking for is something that would just um, the application for this uh, particular card would be for if you're trying to take uh, uh, multiple uh, TS streams off of a satellite and you want to convert the satellite signal to a TS um, MPEG format I'm not exactly sure what software you'd use is not necessarily the consumer end uh, and another fault this thing does have at least for me it does not have a blind scan option which I think would be very useful for my hobby but mainly this it's not necessarily what the application is for the, for this unit um, still pretty pe cool piece of kit uh, to play around with it's for data receiving and IPTV streaming media monitoring and data content distribution so it's, it's mainly the those would be the main features of this particular thing so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be playing around more with the TBS tuners and uh, and um, I'll probably do more videos on this. This is more of my inter my, my own inter introductory and I guess a journal for me to fall back on so that I can um, find more uses for this uh, for this uh, system. So thanks for watching. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. I talked about this on my live streams as well. So if you uh, if you follow my channel, I uh, from time to time we'll have a live stream. I'll talk about this type of stuff. I'll talk about satellite news, and I'll talk about all sorts of things tech. So you can find me there. Thank you for watching today, and have an awesome one.